Wowza. Well, we have plenty of snow ourselves to plow up in the high country, especially, but I had to show you this shot of the elk passing in front of City Market in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. What also cracks me up about this shot is there are about four people behind here as the moose pass on through and they're all taking photos because this is something you do see in Colorado. This is something else. Steamboat Springs, Larry Pierce sent this in of folks ice climbing outside. Now there's plenty of snow if you're headed up to the mountains for skiing or snowboarding this weekend. 58 inches for Crested Butte over the last seven days, 49 for a basin, 43 for Winter Park, Eldora at 33 and Steamboat at 31. And Ed said, don't forget about Monarch Ski Area. He sent me an email. He said, we got 42 inches in the last seven days. So yeah, maybe head to Monarch. 29 degrees downtown right now, 26 at DIA and our winds out of the west at eight miles an hour. Now it will be cloudy throughout the area tonight. It's going to be a stormy holiday weekend for us across Colorado. And we even have some Metro snow showing up on Sunday. So we are going to be in the mix here as these storms are pushing through our state. At this point, we have light snow into western Colorado and down to the southwest toward Telluride. A little bit of light snow near Vail back toward Grand Junction. And we'll continue to see this little bit of light snow until tomorrow, and then it really starts to increase in its intensity. Now tonight, we'll have overnight lows in the 20s. Tomorrow, back up in the low 40s, upper 30s for the afternoon. We'll have that moisture into southwestern Colorado by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. This is another area we're watching very carefully. This is just the beginnings of a huge ice storm that's going to affect the Central Plains and eastern Colorado. So we'll have ice and rain and snow for southeastern Colorado. Snow continues by 7 p.m. on Saturday night for south the southwestern part of the state. Then we get a huge push of moisture. Not only will this be snow for southern Colorado, but it's actually going to move up on Sunday into the metro area. Looks like the heaviest snow will be across the eastern plains, about four to eight inches expected. But we have winter storm watches in effect for eastern and southern Colorado. Ice storm warnings here all the way from Kansas City to Wichita. Tough traveling here all weekend and into Monday as well. So winter storm watch for the next few days for eastern Colorado. Winter storm warning for 10 to 20 inches of snow down into the southwestern part of the state. A new dense fog advisory has been issued for the northwestern part of the state and winter weather advisory here for 8 to 16 inches of snow here for the western portion. As we look at our snow totals, though, looks like we're going to see the greatest amounts here toward Gunnison, south of Aspen, and down into southern Colorado. But here in Denver, it looks like between one and three inches before all is said and done, down farther to the south, seven to nine inches toward Colorado Springs. Tonight's forecast, overnight low 23 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. We'll have teens and 20s for the mountains and 30s for the western slope. Tomorrow, 42 degrees, a little bit milder during the day. And then we really get colder and more snowy here on Sunday into Monday. 35 degrees Sunday afternoon, 37 on Monday, and we're back in the 40s and 50s to end the week. Friday, 47 degrees. It's like hitting that on-off switch. Absolutely. Over and over again. Thank you, Stacey. <laughs> yeah.